let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. side of it you know having uh, Andrew make that field goal right there at no time left was something that uh, was truly amazing um, like I said I'm really uh, really honored and blessed to be around a team that has good good, good guys good character guys good coaches uh, and it's, it's such a treat and thrill to, to, to be in a locker room and be around these guys to see how much football means to them uh, so I tell you my hat goes off to this table right here because uh, you know these young men right here um, played their hearts out, met with some adversity, but, uh, but still came through. And I just want to say this, that probably the conventional wisdom was to take Andrew out and not, not kick him. Obviously, I, I thought about after the second one, I, I started getting Will Kamen, a young, young place kicker, ready. But uh, just something just told me that, you know, you just, you just got to stick with the veteran. And we went in the locker room. Andrew said, Coach, my head's in it. My head's in it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And... Um, and that situation came up again, and I just uh, you just got to rely on gut instinct, but you got to rely on a guy that's been in that position before. And uh, we went with him again. He did a great job coming through. But uh, very proud of him and all these guys at this table here representing the school. Thanks, Coach. Questions for Coach Burke? No, that was that was their timeout. You talk about them, us. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I thought both teams played well. I mean, going into the game, we looked. When you looked at statistics, they were very eerily similar, you know. And I just thought that this game was going to be a back and forth game. The field position was going to be critical as it, as it was. And um, neither team, you know, there was no go for it on fourth down or fake punts or th things like that. Because I just I didn't want to take any possessions or risk any possessions. And I just, just want to rely on Eric and the running, you know, our, our guys, our offense to move the ball, make good decisions, and then rely on the defense. And I know they did the same. They lead, they lead the league in sacks and TFLs, and that's what they did today. They did it great. But, um, you know, just the accumulation of us making plays when it counted in, in difficult situations, I think, just, uh, you know, just kind of brought the, the game to the, to, the, to the point that, you know what, this was going to happen, and something was going to happen in the end. Somebody was going to crack in the end, and um, you know, Justin made a great play on that, on the um, on the throw. We knew that they were trying to get a little closer for a field goal, and they probably weren't going to throw the ball deep. And so I, I'm not going to talk for Justin, but I think he probably kind of set on the route there a little bit, so they can get their kicker a little closer. He made a great job, uh, great play on the ball, and and you know, we've been in the two minute in the game situation a lot of times. And this team is uh, Eric has led us, you know, countless number of times. And it happened again, and um, you know, and then we made the kick. So, um, as I said, it was a, what a great game that was, great college football game, and um, you know, it's it's good being on the other end of it after what happened last time we were here. Coach, I guess your emotions seeing the kick go through. Andrew gets picked up by his teammates. It had to be kind of special. For I don't know. I was I was I was I was bowing to. I was down on the grass right there. I didn't see what happened. You know, um, it's one of those things that. If I heard the, the yell, you know, from behind us, then we made it. If I didn't, then, you know, so uh, I just, I heard people screaming and, and uh, you know, I knew we made it. It's just great to, to get up and get a glimpse of seeing our players rush the field and rush Andrew. And, uh, you know, just that celebration was, uh, you know, one of those memorable moments, Kodak moment, you know, so um, very, very happy for Andrew and the team. <laughs> You know, like I said, uh, I have a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Laycock. I mean, a great coach. Um, you know, he has a good team. I spent four years of my life with him, and uh, you know, I know it hurts, but that's a that's a that's a that's a great football team, and they're going to be in the playoffs. I mean, I have no doubt about that, um, and they deserve it. You know, so uh, but it, it's good. You know, uh, having had a chance to learn from him, and then go off and kind of craft your own style and do your own things. But uh, I learned a lot of football from him. Last 
Or did you sense they were maybe playing for overtime? No, I mean, you know, they probably were playing to run some time off the clock. So if they did have to kick a field goal, it'd be, you know, under 10 seconds. I, I knew that that's what they were doing. And then we knew that they were probably going to try to get close enough to kick a field goal because I think the young man had just missed one not too, uh, you know, uh, earlier uh, from, was it 52 or something like that. So they, they probably felt pretty good about having the ball and moving it, you know, incrementally, give, give him a chance to try it again. And uh, I just think on that thing was a third down play, actually, that uh, Justin just sat on the route and made a play on the ball there. So, um, you know, it wasn't, wasn't by surprise that, that, you know, that what they were doing.